Okay, this is a mousetrap powered car. It's a middle school science project that I did with my son. Uh, we went through a few different designs that we tried. This one ended up being, I would say, the easiest to do and also had the best performance for us. Uh, not reaching for the stars here, just for real good solid performance and not too trying of a construction process. So let's go through materials real quick. Um, we have these here. These are Home Depot paint stirring sticks. The large ones that are available at Home Depot, they have two sizes. These are the large ones. You'll see inside here skateboard wheel bearings. Those ended up being a really good choice. Um, these tires are water bottle lids um, that you can get for like a, a, at a, like a water store. Um, these ones are 110 millimeter. They come in 100 and they come in 120 as well. Conveniently, they do have kind of a tread on them. So that works out pretty well as well. And also good for stability. And most importantly, they can be drilled exact size and friction fit to the axles rather than a lot of the other designs you might see online where they talk about using CDs and then getting fender washers and having to glue those on. It, it really turned into something not very fun. This one uh, worked out very well. Uh, the mousetrap base is very thin plywood. You can see right here, we mounted it on with uh, three screws. You can see two of them. The third one's under that little cheese slice there. And then importantly, notice that it's mounted to the side so that the lever that we built um, to go to that rear axle is going right down the middle of the vehicle. Um, so let's talk about kind of what we did here. Uh, oh, and those are three, the screws right there are number four half inch flathead Phillips screws. They're sheet metal screws. So um, about the, the skate in construction here, about these skateboard bearings. So you're gonna take a seven eighths inch spade bit or Forstner bit, even better if you have one available, and drill those holes. And obviously, you want to drill them in the exact same spot on each of the paint stirrer sticks. And you can't see it easily right there, but you can see now that um, underneath, it's the same story in the front there, okay? And we drilled those about an inch in, um, coming off of the front. And... Uh, what you'll do then is mix some epoxy and you'll brush that epoxy <clears throat> on the inner rim of the hole you just drilled. And then you will fit those bearings in and let that epoxy set. And you'll probably want to spackle around it a little bit. There'll be a little bit of a gap uh, once you've drilled that hole. But you can spackle that in and then let it set for, you know, in this case, the epoxy was fully set in six hours. Okay, um, let's see, the next piece here, okay, the dowels. Okay, so we got a dowel, it's 5 sixteenths of an inch, um, and we cut them for the axles. Um, on each side here, I think the axle protrusion, I wanna say, was about a half inch coming out on the other side. And we also used the remaining uh, part of that dowel to create the lever. So again, 5 sixteenths inch dowel. And then um, on the water bottle lids, okay, there are styrofoam lid liners. You'll remove those. You'll drill small pilot holes through the dead center of those lids and then enlarge the holes with a 932 inch drill bit. And if you do it with 932 of an inch, you will then be able to friction fit the... Um, the lid right onto the dowel. It'll take a little bit of work, but it'll fit great and you won't have to use glue to secure it, okay? Um, then this is just some nylon string, okay? So a lot of places are saying use dental floss or whatever, not recommended. Use kind of a nylon string right there. And if you'll notice, okay, this is, think of this as it being fully expended from an energy standpoint, right? As if, if that lever was all the way back, it would be fully loaded and ready to go. And you'll see that this thing is just short of the axle so that basically when this lever travels its full excursion, it will completely remove the string um, from the axle. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a simple design, but it will work. And um, our initial tests got this thing to go, I would say, close to 30 feet. Um, 
and that's not too bad, you know? I mean, it's not a world record setter, but you'll get in and out of this project without a lot of um, frustration. All right, well, good luck with it, and have fun. Hit the comments if there's anything that uh, you want to say, and uh, be nice. <laughs> okay, good luck.